Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Rattle Essence and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope this video finds you well. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Today, it's a fragrance that I have spoken about on my channel many, many, many times in the past. I featured it in many lists. I've never actually done a proper review of it. So in today's episode, we're gonna be focusing our attention on Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my fragrance review of Tom Ford's private blend, Tobacco Vanille, I do want to encourage you to consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button, especially if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, if you like fragrance reviews here on YouTube, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, interviews, and pretty much anything having to do with fragrances. So here we have it, Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. This is a fragrance that I purchased with my own money many, many, many years ago, but this video is being shot in collaboration with FragranceUSA.com. Thank you so much for your support and of your support to the Red Lessons channel, I should say, FragranceUSA.com. I'm going to be leaving their information down below and there's also going to be a giveaway attached to this video for three 5ml decants and it's going to be 5mls of my favorite Tom Ford private blend fragrances. So we have Tobacco Vanille, Tuscan Leather, and Noir de Noir. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is visit FragranceUSA.com check out all of the fragrances that they carry and they carry a lot of niche fragrances at really really good prices come back to this video and leave a comment down below letting me know if you were to make a purchase from fragrance usa which fragrance would you buy that's all you have to do i'm going to pin the winning comment to the top of the comment thread in a week so make sure to come back to this video in one week to see if you won and also please make sure to follow the brand on instagram i'm going to leave their information down below because they also conduct giveaways on their instagram page page as well. So if you want to win double, then make sure to follow them on Instagram as well. Definitely test your luck. And there's also going to be a coupon code. I don't make any commission from it. I get no kickback from it. The code is RedAlessence10. It's just something that I worked out with the brand so that they can see where the traffic is coming from. And I can also have a really good deal for my subscribers. So Tobacco Vanille came out in 2007. It's so hard to believe that this fragrance came out 13 years ago. It's such an extraordinary and incredible fragrance. And it was one of the private blends that I really wanted to get my hands on and it's funny I did this video several years ago where I was talking about a layering combination that always put me in the mindset of tobacco vanille kind of like a poor man's tobacco vanille and I used to layer Demeter's pipe tobacco with other vanilla based fragrances to sort of create a similar effect but to be honest nothing quite does it the way that the original Olivier Guillotin fragrance from 2007 does it and this is still to this day 13 years later, one of the best private blends that Tom Ford has put out and is definitely one of my favorites for the fall and the winter. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on the smell, which I can't stop smelling, but let's start with the presentation. So here's the presentation for Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille, and it is part of the private blend line. So I think if you've seen one, you've seen them all. It opens up just like this to reveal a podium in which the bottle rests. Your serial number is printed on the bottom in black ink and all of your ingredients are listed on the back. And here is the bottle. It's a black bottle with a gold sticker here on the front. Tom Ford is written on the top of the cap and the distribution on the atomizer is nice and wide. Let's continue with the smell. So as soon as this fragrance opens up, you are going to get this burst of cherry flavored pipe tobacco. And I think this is one of the most sentimental things for me because when I used to live in Greece with my grandparents, um, my grandfather used to smoke this cherry flavored pipe tobacco and it was very syrupy and honeyed and molassesy. And I remember he used to store it in this one drawer as part of his cabinet in his bedroom. And I would occasionally just smell it because I loved the way that it smelled. I've always had a fascination with different smells. And you are going to get that same sweetened, juicy, moist, honeyed sort of a pipe tobacco thing that goes on in the opening of this fragrance. But it really has this undertone of vanilla that grounds the fragrance. And those spicy accents, this sort of cocoa vibe that's in here as well, that doesn't really make it powdery or anything, but it just adds complexity to the sweetness. And I think it's a really awesome fragrance, you know? On the market, we have so many different types of tobacco fragrances. We'll have something like a Tabarome by Creed, which is a very sort of herbal tobacco. We have some other tobaccos that are really dark and on the smoky side. Here, what you're getting is a tobacco that is sweet, it's flavorful, 
it's addictive. It's almost leaning gourmand, kind of oriental in terms of a lot of the nuances that are in here. I would even go as far as to say that there might be a little bit of patchouli in the base, kind of bolstering up the other ingredients, although it's not formally listed as a note in the note pyramid. But really, this is a tobacco lover's dream. And I think this is an area in which Tom Ford specializes. Whenever he thinks about utilizing certain ingredients, he always wants to create the best expression of that ingredient. So in the case of plum, you have plum japonais. In the case of cherry, you have lost cherry. In the case of rose, you have rose prick. And so he'll take an ingredient and really create the idealized expression of that ingredient. And that's really what I think this is. I think it's very smooth, seductive. This is a CEO type of a fragrance. It definitely conveys luxury and opulence, but there's also like this dark and mysterious quality about it without the fragrance smelling challenging and you know tobacco some people equate it with cigarettes or cigarette ash or cigarette smoke it really doesn't give off that vibe i know some people have said that about tuscan leather which i personally don't get i love tuscan leather i also find that to be very exquisite and expensive smelling but i really love tobacco vanille and i hope you have a chance to get your nose on it soon let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment so first up, we have the uniqueness and the overall smell, and I totally find this fragrance to be unique, especially for its time. Considering the fact that it came out back in 2007, there was really no fragrance on the market quite like this fragrance. Of course, tobacco as an ingredient had been used many, many times before, but definitely Tom Ford is a pioneer here because I had never smelled tobacco being done in such a way prior to the release of Tobacco Vanille. In terms of the overall smell, incredibly pleasant, just know that it's not going to be as easy going as something like a Neroli Portofino or Mandarino di Amalfi, Costa Azzurra, and those types of fragrances. So it's a little bit on the heavier side, but definitely stunning and perfect for this time of the year. Fall and autumn is really where it's at. And of course, you can wear this one in the winter as well. Longevity on my skin is eight plus hours. This is very strongly concentrated. Also, considering the fact that I purchased this bottle many years ago, it's been left to macerate for quite a long time. On my skin, it performs very very well and the projection on this one is beyond an arm's length for the first hour and a half to two hours just a little beyond an arm's length not super loud but you will definitely get noticed when you wear this fragrance the versatility on this one I find to be appropriate for the colder months. I wouldn't wear this one in the dead of summer. I think this one is perfectly unisex as long as you're a fan of the note of tobacco. And there's something about this that conveys a formal scenario. And so I probably wouldn't wear this one casually unless you have the money to spend because you know Tom Ford private blend fragrances can definitely be on the pricey side. And I can see this one being worn by somebody who is a little bit older, a little more mature. I would say 25 and up or 30 and up. In terms of the presentation. I love the way that Tom Ford Private Blend presentations look, especially when you have them all lined up. And my final verdict on this fragrance is, of course, it's one of my favorite fragrances of all time. I absolutely love wearing this one along with Noir de Noir, Tuscan Leather, Oud Wood, and several other Tom Ford Private Blend fragrances, hence the reason why I purchased all of those fragrances many years ago. And this is one that I will continue to wear in the months and in the years to come. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. That was my fragrance review of Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. If you own or have tried this fragrance, I would love to know what you think. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to enter the giveaway for a 5ml decant of this fragrance, as well as Noir de Noir and Tuscan Leather, which would make 15 mls in total. And again, all you have to do is visit fragranceusa.com, check out all of the fragrances that they offer on their website, and then come back to this video and leave a comment down below if you were to purchase a fragrance from their website, which one would you purchase? And don't forget that there is a coupon code that you can use if you do want to make a purchase and the coupon code is RedAlescence10, which will get you 10% off your purchase. Thanks again for watching. I love you all. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.